So what? When, what? I, when I did my bending, I, I've used uh, skeining, and I've used but the, what worked best for me was uh, hot water, and I'd put a kettle on the stove with boiling water, and then I had my forms ready to um, clamp them on, mm -hmm. and I'd soak them overnight, and and I put hot water in there. And then I put some more boiling water in there and left it overnight and the next morning I took it out of water and quickly put it on the forms and clamped them down and left them for about probably four or five days in the mm -hmm. forms and it dried good. And then when you took them out, they held their shape. Mm -hmm. So there was so much of the wood bending that took time. And the only piece I replaced on runner so far is one little piece up here that I mentioned before that was uh, broken. I had to replace that. And on the other, there's one little other little piece on the runner here that needs to be replaced that was broken off. Other than that, the wood on the runner is it's, it's real hard yet, real good shape. It isn't routed at all. What are all those streaks there? The streaks are from the snow wearing on the runners when you drive in the snow, when you kind of had a crust on the snow, mm -hmm. it would wear grooves in the runners. This has been used quite a bit then. Oh, it's been used a lot. Hmm. Made in Bridgewater, Vermont. So, uh, that's how far we are now. And the next step is to finish some painting, and then we'll assemble, and uh, we'll have some more pictures. And I, I, the end of these had a nice fancy design on it, so I tried to duplicate the original, which was the western that broken off. That had broken on the end of it. So, I'll so that's about as far as we are now.